everyone, Team UDF here for more Parallel Remodel, and I gotta see what the heck is going on here. You... no way! Is this the Armos Knights, then? This has to be... N what?! Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Okay. The Magic Boomerang made sense to me, because in the original, you had to fight the Armos Knights with... With a what? With your regular sword is horrible. They each take like 40 swings or something. You can get the blue boomerang in parallel worlds. I also see Mothula still broken. His shots disappear eventually. But th that actually made sense because it's like, hey, look, now we now we don't have to freaking fight the Armos Knights with just our sword. But no, there's, there's nothing here. Okay, it's just Mothula. Apparently, it's just Mothula. <sighs> You got the Zoro Sassfire, just take it to Sahashlara. I'm so confused right now. What what is this for then? We need the we need the hammer to get into the graveyard still, don't we? Better check that out. Well that did nothing. Strange changes so far, dude. Very strange changes. I like, I really want to see what all the consequences of these changes are. I wonder if he moved the hammer pegs or, or got rid of them or something. Because you definitely needed the hammer to get into level 2 in the original game. It's probably not that hard to remove the hammer pegs, it's just, I'm confused now why we even got the magic boomerang when we didn't need it. You stun enemies and get a rupee when you kill them. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Also, get used to us making this walk about a thousand times, because we have to come back to Kakariko quite often in the game. Also, in the Dark World. Let's see. Um. I guess let's round about the beach. There should be a piece of heart we can get. Let's see. Um, yeah. And then I guess we'll make our way to level 2. We have to go see Sahashlara at the docks, where he'll probably tell us a long-winded story, and we'll get the Pegasus boots. So good for us. Give me money. That's right, son. And then we're headed to Din's Catacombs, which the piece of heart you just saw on the screen, Din's Catacombs will actually lead us to it. Actually, Jim's Catacombs will lead us to a whole bunch of stuff that just makes no sense when you think about the geometry of the situation. Jim's Catacomb basically is our first screw geometry dungeon. Hmm, so you actually do walk one forward in this game, okay. Oh, hey, you're still here! Okay. Alright. I can, I can dig that, why not? We need some semblance of challenge so far. Although Mothula does two hearts of damage still, I'm sure, so... Should just be careful of that. Also, in these ROM hacks, we feature the correct spelling for the word fairy. Hmm, yes. I don't know, I'm sure in some, in some context it works with the way a Link to the Past spells. It just makes sense to me, though. It was like, why, why is all... Why is all this here? Oh, hey! Okay, that was not the one I was thinking of, but let's go ahead and pick that up, too. I just, I, I feel like I'm sounding so angry. I'm, I'm not meaning to, but things are very strange, and I'm, I'm tired of all their things, too. We can't do anything in that cave, I'm like 99.100% certain. Yeah. Team UDF math. Whoa, that is not where I expected to land, given where I was. Okay, then. A link to the past, everyone. It has physics, or so it says. Pokey. Got owned, Pokey. Oh my god, this lag, dude. Alright. Oh, dang. We need the hammer for that. Whatever that was. I'm not gonna pretend to know. In fact, if I don't say anything, then I can't be incorrect when I guess. <laughs> Take that, internet trolls! You just got Team UDF'd. Alright, let's see. 
Pokey? Oh, okay, well, Pokey doesn't want to play with us today. So we're going to retreat. Actually, is there anything down here? Nope. Okay. Dies all. Dies all. He left us nothing. He left us nothing. We're at the docks. See, that worked correctly. That other ledge was weird. We're going to go there to play the treasure chest game. But we're going to go get our boots first, because we want to go fast. Oh, actually, while I'm here, I can get the magic powder. Yeah, I can go up there and get the magic powder in a bit. Well, that was a miss. Who's your hoppity hop? Yes, you are. Who does two hearts of damage somehow? Yes, you do. All right, here we are in Sahashlara's ancient battleship. No, not really. I am indeed Sahashlara. Village elder and keeper of the knowledge. Why am I here at the docks? It's the best place to hide since I can leave at any time. Oh, really? I'm surprised a young man like you hasn't become a soldier given the recent perks. Anyway, I'm part of the resistance against Dragon myself. We gather at a hideout on Vanilla Beach east of here. Come visit us sometime. Long ago, a great war was waged. He just randomly starts telling us a story. I mean, it finally ended when one side used the power of the Triforce to destroy the other. This caused the world to split in half, thus creating the Parallel Tower. We are in the first world, where the actual power rests at the top of the tower. However, the other world holds the knowledge of how to ascend the tower. Dragor knew the legend of the Parallel Tower and wanted the po its power for himself. He kidnapped those girls because they had vital information. Dragor now knows six of the sacred clues. You know the seventh. Here's the item I promised, totally, in the last episode. Use it wisely. We got the Pegasus boots. Now we can actually get a devastating dash attack. Well, the Master Sword Jewels is in the cemetery. Fantastic. That is exactly where we're headed. I'm mostly interested in what the entrance looks like. Oh, man, there's a lot of bad crap in that dungeon. I'm actually interested in what a lot of it looks like. Oh, here I am. Here I am, Swindle Chopper. Lots of laggy crap everywhere. Let's try this once. We don't really need to, but... I just want to waste money. Oh! Alright, well, that's okay. Just kidding! Cheating time! Because now I want revenge, you see. The game has cheated me, and thus I am going to take my revenge on the game. I'm going to take my revenge on the game. Aha, I took my revenge on the game. Great. We don't even need this money for anything. It is completely pointless for me to have. Is it? I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it's pointless. Alright, let's get ourselves some stuff. Get out. Thing, whatever you are. I don't know this thing. What is this thing? All the Zelda enemies have, like, the most obscure... Actually, every Zelda enemy ever has the most obscure name, but that's besides the point. That's beside the point. That's beside the point. That's besides the point. T Beauty of, you can't... Okay, we're, we're, we'll stop there. Okay, we're, 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 we're okay. Actually, oh, I need to give you the thing. Okay. Dang it. Oh man, we're gonna come back later for something good. Ooh, mm, yes. In fact, later is now. Actually, there's, there's stuff I can do at Lupo Quarry as well. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm getting texted by my good friend Kozak. Kozakistan. He is the Kozak, and he knows what he's doing. He's come to eat your soul. No, not really. I'm gonna come eat this magic powder, though, so I can kill the 1,000 anti-fairies that are coming up in the game. Alright, what does this text actually say? Oh, wow. Sweet! Okay, cool. Very nice. He's put in a f bid to become a full-time delivery driver for UPS. He's been wanting that position for quite some time now. Hopefully he has good luck with it. Man, it's so much faster! <laughs> it's so much faster! Wait a second! Half magic's over here, so... Oh, but I need the stupid gauntlets to get it. Oh, but wait, I can get it now. No, we're not going to do that. I was thinking about it, but I don't want to go through the loading screens. Wow, we're only like nine minutes into this episode, dude. I just realized this might not be the path to this endless beach. I, I don't remember the path off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure it's right left up after this, but we'll find out. How did I not get hit? Oh, no. Chopper. Chopper, 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 I'll break your neck, Yugimoto. That got dark fast. Victory Beach. Think we can get at least one piece of heart. If 
we can, that's good because we get heart containers and stuff. Alright, let's see. Oh, shoot. There's one over there, but I need the thing. Every item is called thing, by the way. It's like Dr. Seuss, thing one and thing two. What story was that from? Cat in the Hat. Cat in the Hat that was from. Good for me. Oh, dang, did not notice you, buddy. That's where the Master Sword resides. Ah, oh, Flit, I forgot about these things. Okay. Ah, uh, hmm. Forgot about those, too. Also, apparently there's no piece of heart up here. Oh, the, the Flid. I swear there was one somewhere around here. Mm, huh. This is not of it. This is not of it, said Team UDF. You just make a whole quotes book of my English, and then we'll see how many English professors I can piss off. And it can be like, haha, I, I teach math instead, so screw you. Even though you actually have to be very good at writing. I guess you don't have to be good at enunciating, but you just have to be very good. Oh, here it is, okay. You be very good at writing to be a math teacher, especially when you start proving things. Oh, no. Let's use our cheated money to upgrade our bombs. Cheated money, oh yeah. Cheated money. We're going to throw this- Oh, no, 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 we're not wasting all this time with that crap. Let's go. Dang it. <laughs> 65. I don't care, I'm just gonna waste the extra five, I don't even, doesn't matter. Yay, I wish to carry more bombs. Yay, alright, let's get out of here and never come back. We're going to kill you. And Ganondorf, the Dark Lord. Oh, cr oh dang it! I was gonna read. I was gonna sing one of my old songs. Whatever, janky game. So that was random dark world music in the light world, and now we're- Oh, I know what this leads to! It leads to this piece of heart! Alright, good. I think that was like the last piece of heart I got in the original Parallel Worlds, dude. Well, that works. Alright, so now, wait, what was I doing? Oh, I can get this piece of heart now. So many good pieces of heart, this is the castle. There is a piece of heart up there, though, that I want at some point. I want it now, but I can't have it, because I'm going to be restrained to fizz okay. I feel much more random than usual. I wonder if it's because my body is like... It has muscle memory for how random I was during Parallel with... Oh, that wasn't really, was I? That wasn't during Spaz Team UDF era at all. I don't know what I'm doing, then. Oh, well, this is gr okay. Just screw off then. That thing's gonna hit me on the way back down. You just wait and see. No, I actually didn't. <laughs> All right. What are we doing, dude? Let's go to the, the the thing. Where am I going? I got my magic powder. Yeah. Oh no. I guess we're just going to level two. Okay. I keep thinking there's other stuff, but there's not. There's just not stuff anywhere. None of this is stuff. Oh, you changed it to be a dash trigger, okay. There used to be hammer pegs there, but I guess not anymore. Dim's Catacombs, this is bright. <laughs> That key is still hidden now, good troll. Oh, wait, no, okay. Alright. You stupid piece of crap floor tile, screw you two! Alright, we're good, we're okay, we're, we're chill. <gasps> you got rid of the land mola fight! Oh, wow. Dang. 
That's actually pretty impactful, because that was like the whole first segment of the dungeon. Oh, wow, this is also very... Okay. We're being pointed to come down here now, I see. All right, wow. There's not, not any darkness to be had. Actually, wait, I think I can get stuff from here. Ow. Ow. Why is that randomly there? Why would you run over there? Oh, can't go there. We need the hook shot. I wonder if he did the second quest, too. Guess we could find out. The second quest wasn't very long at all. An extra key somewhere here. Oh, you're still here, eh? That's why he got rid of the Land Mola fight, because of the Wall Master. It would force you to have to refight the Land Molas back in the day. But now you don't have to do that anymore. I, I'm seeing the changes. I'm seeing why. So that one, I guess, makes sense. That was just to try to prevent you from having to torture yourself, I guess. What is this doing here? This also wasn't here, was it? No, it certainly was not. You could not come over here. Because this goes to the... yeah. Alright, so they freed that up a bit. Let me go get a piece of heart over here, then. I can't remember exactly... oh, it's over here, okay. Uh, oh, shoot. Right. Oh, wait. Oh, it's up there, okay. I was looking in the wrong spot. There we go. Yay! Wow, we're already almost to the seven. It's not surprising, I mean, you need a lot of pieces of heart when you don't give out heart containers in the boss fights, but still. You're just like, man, I'm only in like episode three or four or something, and we're looking at seven heart containers, and we're in the middle of level two, and it's just completely like, not parallel worlds. <laughs> All this, this whole dungeon was dark, dude. This is another piece of heart. Okay. Well, there, that's done. <laughs> there you go. There's that. I think we can get one more. We might need the hook shot, though. Let me check. No, we can get it. Can I go up there? What's up there? I don't remember what's up there. So yeah, look at this jank. How... Look! look how do you do... How does this work? Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let me see. Could I get in there? I can't remember. Oh, man, the only, the only bad thing about finding this out is I have to actually kill the stupid Gibdo. Or I guess it could be a pushable block. It could be a pushable block, actually. Okay, so that's definitely not it. Because this door just pointless? Nope, there it goes. Okay, well, let me see what, what was through here. Because I'm sure this isn't part of the actual... Hmm. Jeez! <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay. Well, back we go! We're already back over here. Ow. At least be mindful of the Gibdos, I suppose. They still do two hearts of damage. We've got our fairies with us just in case, but still. We've got our Team UDF with us just in case, but still. Why would you do that? Why would you have a Team UDF? Ooh, nah, okay. Alright, let's use both of our keys here. Man, yeah, this is... This is the Christmas marathon. The whole Christmas marathon going by in, like, two videos, basically. Oh, it looks like we won't make it in the in time. Because we're about out of time. I hate waiting. Oh, I know, I don't have to. I didn't use the boots a whole lot. Well, it's because everything was dark and I didn't want to run into, like, random enemies. And I'm just thinking about how seldom I actually used the boots in the original. Hmm. The big chest key. I can't remember where the big key is in this dungeon, though. Shoot. I feel like I should have run, run across it already. Let's see if we can beat Mr. Ball of Light. 
Yes, we can. See what would have passed him. Shut up, timer. I'm doing things that involve other things. So we did At least I can say I've always really liked. I, I I kind of enjoy how you can always you can kind of see where the inspiration came from. Like this is clearly the desert palace. It's just got those rooms, you know. Wow, man, I'm hitting stuff. I'm violent now. Okay, not really. Well, I see an AMD versus NVIDIA is about to, uh, war is about to break out in my UDF lounge. Okay. Can't remember which thing the thing that- okay, I found it. <laughs> we got the Goron's bracelet. I wonder if this was the old Beemos room, like, the one where you open the door to get the power glove. Use NVIDIA to play your video. <laughs> okay, I mean, that one's pretty good. I approve. I approve. I can't remember where the big key is. I'm hoping it's not like randomly. No, okay. Hmm. Maybe there wasn't a big key. Because I suppose, given how this dungeon went in Link to the Past, it wouldn't be terribly. I don't know. We'll find out. Ow. Oh, I was out of time, wasn't I? Oh well, guess what we're doing? We're finishing this dungeon. Oh god, this room! I remember this room being the laggiest piece of crap ever in the original two. I have no idea why there are like only four enemies in here. It's gotta be something with the... I don't know. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can see they made this easier. <laughs> so laggy as heck. Though. Actually, the lag might make it easier. What the heck? Okay, why? Why is? Why are they being so stubborn when I try to burn them from the bottom? Things don't want to be burned from the bottom, I guess. Oh, we're about to get hit. Unless, unless. We'll see about this. Ah, uh, no, that's, that's okay. I gonna see if I could beat it out, but nah. Whatever. Bam. Whoa, that was close. Alright, random arrow drops we don't need, because guess what we don't have? Alright, let's go kill Moldorm. This looks easier, too. I think there were more spikes. I can't remember, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm certain I was not able to even walk anywhere near the top of this screen. Pretty certain. Come here. And he's down. Let's leave the room. We can't leave the room. Next time on Parallel Remodel, we probably beat the whole game. No, not really. Thanks for watching, everyone. Boy! We'll do the, we'll let the, yeah, okay. We'll let the thing finish its thing before we thing.